Happy New Year from the folks over at Retro Game Treasure. As we ring in 2019, we of course have to look back to the past. That's crucial in the way that you can advance in moving forward in life. You always have to kind of look back and see where you've come from. Retro Game Treasure, a tie into that, looks back to the past every single month they deliver a box to your door. Because inside, you get yourself a selection of retro games. You see how I tied that all together. This is the Retro Game Treasure for possibly December, which in fact would still be in the past, being that we're now into 2019. If you're interested in subscribing, and getting one of the top retro game subscription boxes delivered to your door. I'll put the link down below. With that being said, I certainly hope now into 2019 everybody had a good New Year's. My New Year's was generally pretty quiet. I had big hopes, big plans to do something exciting, but then I quickly realized, yeah, I'm old. So I think ultimately what I ended up doing was I binged watched on Netflix a show called Ozark. If anybody has watched Ozark, let me know down below. Um, but I hope everybody did have a good New Year's. Let me know down below what you guys ended up doing. There's the website right there, www.retrogametreasure.com. It's pretty straightforward, pretty simple, isn't it? We're going to go ahead and open this up and see what kind of things we've got inside. Got some packing pillows. We really don't need packing pillows. Um, we're just going to put that to the side. First thing we're going to have a look at is this game here. Now, this is Kirby. This is for the N64. This is also in Japanese. I hope this will actually play on a North American uh, N64. Um, if anybody knows the name of this game, certainly please. Oh, please. Oh, gosh darn it, please. Let me know down below in the comments section. It's a pristine looking cartridge, though. Maybe I already have this game, but I would have the English version of it. Somebody let me know down below. Oh, please. To go along with that, we've got Spy Hunter. I must say the pristine nature of all of these games. This looks like I just bought it, minus for a few little scratches here and there. For the most part, though, it's a pretty neat, clean-looking label. Uh, I played Spy Hunter once, literally once. Went to a friend's house and I played it when I was younger. Never again, never since. Now I can actually pop this into my, not my Nintendo NES system because uh, I don't actually have that hooked up to my TV, but I have the next best thing. I have like a little console that I usually play my Famicom and then I play my Nintendo games and stuff like that. If I want to get to more games, then I usually get out the Retron 7, which admittedly I don't really like as much. Last and certainly not least, inside we've got for the Game Boy Advance, the Super Mario World, uh, it says Super Mario Advance 2. I may again, may or may not have this one, I'm not sure, I'd have to double check. I certainly have a lot more, it seems, Game Boy Advance games than I have anything else. I'll have to check my library and see if this is part of it. So, let's have a look at, and that's everything that we got inside. Let's have a look at the games that we got this go-around. Just having to wipe off the backdrop. Just kind of keep it clean and pristine. That's that's one of my New Year's resolutions, is how to kind of keep my work environment clean. And the reviewing backdrop here, no exception. Uh, the games, once again, in size. Baby Bear, we got the Super Mario World, Super Mario Advance 2. Mama Bear, a obscure at least at the present time, an obscure uh, Kirby game. I think it's probably just Kirby's Adventure, or is it just Kirby 64? I feel like it's Kirby 64. For the N64, and then lastly, for the Super Nintendo, or scratch that out, for the Nintendo Entertainment System, the NES, we've got the original classic, Spy Hunter. Uh, again, let me know down below, guys. How did you spend your New Year's Eve? As we look forward again to the year of 2019, 2019, coming close to 2020, I feel like based on futuristic movies, stuff should be happening by now. Hoverboards and hover cars and robots taking over and all that stuff. Let's hope that at least doesn't happen in 2019. Kind of gives us time to prepare and get our stuff together. But let me know, guys, what did you do for your New Year's Eve? Moving forward, certainly more videos will be coming to this channel. So if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below. You know where it is. Maybe you don't. Maybe you're new to YouTube. It's right over here. It's right 
It's about right there, give or take, give or take. Hit that little subscribe button. Certainly more videos will be coming your way, guys, and I'll see you next time.